In this lesson I'll show you how to create a simple two-piece box and we will start by creating a sketch on the XY plane. We work in the part design module and here at the beginning I create a rectangle with dimensions 100 by 70. Ok, close the sketch and now I will add an extrusion at 50 mm. Ok, and now to make a box out of this cuboid we can use the thickness function or we can just create another sketch here and we can add a cut extrusion so we can use the pocket operation. I will use the thickness operation here and leave the walls 7 mm thick because it will be a two piece box and I want one part to overlap the other and here I set the thickness to inwards so as not to increase the overall dimensions. If necessary we can also add roundings in the corners and I will add such roundings here. Ok, here I would like to add an undercut so that in one part of the box the undercut is outside and in the other part of the box the undercut is inside so that this can be assembled two parts together. And this will be the first part, this will be the lower part of the box and now I will add such an undercut here and we will add such an undercut in a moment because here we will have to switch to another module but once we are in the part design module we can also add here any possible places for some fastenings and we can do it in such a way that for example we will create another sketch on this wall and create additional elements in the corners. First I will use the external geometry so that I have some reference. Ok, I'll switch to section view and I'll choose draw rectangle and I'll draw a rectangle from this point and I'll draw a rectangle from this point. Ok, and now I choose the dimensioning, I add the dimensions of one line and now I select this line and this line and here I select the equality constraint then I select this line, this one and this one and I also select the equality constraint. Here when drawing this rectangle I didn't hit this point so I select this point and this point and I choose the coincident constraint. And we can also create a circle here. First I will create an auxiliary line here and here and these lines will be construction lines. And I create these lines to create a circle in the middle of these lines. Now I select draw circle and I draw the circle so that the center of the circle is connected with this line. And I draw the circle such that the center of this circle is connected with this line. Now I choose the diameter dimension and here for example diameter 3 mm. I will also enter 3 mm here. We could have used an equality constraint here but we have only two circles so we can also dimension these circles. Now I'm going to place the center of this circle in the middle of this line. I select these two points, I select this point and I select the symmetry constraint and I do the same with these points and I also choose the symmetry constraint. Ok, let's close the sketch and now Add the extrusion of this sketch. Here we define the length of the extrusion, 15 mm, and I will also add the rounding of these edges. Ok, here one edge has only been selected, so I choose select and select the next edge. I choose preview and now we have two rounded edges. 
Click OK and here we have something like this. And now in this part we will create an undercut. And now I will go to the part module. And here we have an operation like shape builder. I select this operation and here we select the wire from edges option and indicate the edges based on which the geometry is to be created. And we do this with the control key. We indicate the geometry from which we will create such geometry. And here I select create, OK. And here we already have such a wire created. We can turn off the visibility of this solid. Select this wire and go to the part menu. Here select the 2D offset option and add an offset in the other direction. It means to minus 3 millimeters to add the offset inwards. And here we select the fill offset option and OK. And now we can create a solid based on this geometry. Select this geometry, choose extrusion and here we choose the second direction in the first along direction enter 0 and here enter 7 millimeters and click OK and something like this has been created. And now when I turn on the visibility of the first solid, these two solids coincide with each other and now I can subtract the second solid from this solid and to do this select the first solid, then with the control key select the second solid and choose the operation of subtracting one solid from the other and we have created something like this. This wire is still visible here, so I expand this operation and click the spacebar to turn off the visibility of this geometry. And OK. Of course, if necessary, we can make the undercut deeper, but here I just wanted to show you how we can add such undercuts. And now we will move on to creating the second part of the box and we can model it from scratch in a similar way or we can try to use this part of the box before adding this undercut. And here I'm selecting this body, then I choose Ctrl plus C and a window like this will appear. And here I want to copy everything, OK. And here I choose Ctrl plus V and now I will turn off the visibility of this solid then I turn on the visibility of this solid and here when it comes to making the undercut we can make the undercut in the same way but I may have been a little hasty when adding these additional elements and it would be better to do it after adding the undercut because now if we make the second part of the box from this part then after assembling these two boxes these fasteners will not fit into each other but it doesn't matter much. I'm going to slide this out to see what it looks like. Okay, if we left these fastening elements, after assembling this box, these elements will not fit into each other. If we created these elements in each corner, then there would be no problem, or we could add such elements at this stage after adding this undercut. If you are going to design such boxes, pay attention to place these fastening elements properly, but I will not correct it because now if I edit the sketch that I created to get this extrusion, the model may break because in FreeCAD we cannot edit sketches that were created in previous operations, we can only edit sketches of the last operation. But when it comes to these fastening elements, it should not be a problem to add these elements. Here turn off the visibility of this part, this is the first part we created and now we will create an undercut in this place. As in the previous case, select the shape builder and wire from edges and select these four edges. Create and OK. And now select this wire, go to the part, to the offset and here offset it by 4 millimeters. Maybe a little more. OK. And just like before, fill offset and 
OK. And now select this geometry, select extrusion and here also in the other direction for 7 mm. OK, and subtract this solid from this solid. And we have created something like this. And as in the previous case, I will also turn off the visibility of this geometry. And now I will turn on the visibility of this box. And we have two box elements that we can put together. Of course, in practice it may turn out that you need to adjust something. But here I just wanted to show you how you can create this type of box in which we have two parts that are supposed to be put together. And here when it comes to these fastenings elements, here as you can see we don't have a through hole. If you would like to create a through hole here, we can easily do it. We can do it in this module, but we can also switch to the part design module. And we can do it in the part design module. However, now if you want to add a cutout operation based on this solid, for example, I select this geometry and select the pocket operation, information appears that this solid doesn't belong to the active body. So now I'm creating a new body based on this solid. The solid has already been copied here. I will turn off the visibility of this solid and notice that we have a copy of this solid here and now I select these two geometries with the control key, select the pocket operation and here I select through all so that I add holes based on these geometries. And if necessary we can also create sketch here, we can either add a chamfer, I will add a chamfer on this hole. or we can add a new sketch. I will use this geometry as a reference geometry. OK. And I'm going to create a circle here and the center of this circle coincides with the center of this circle, the center of this hole. OK. And now I add the pocket operation and this is how you can approach the creation of these types of elements. But as I mentioned at the beginning it is worth considering this project, considering where any fastenings element will be, if they will be there at all and considering how to approach the design. And after this lesson not everything may turn out to be clear but if you make a model of this box step by step and then make your own model, then everything should be clear. And I think that creating such boxes will not be a problem. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.